Hello everybody and welcome to this lesson on the writing process. In this lesson I will be introducing you to the five step writing process and we will be focusing mainly on the first step which is preparing to write. Preparing to write basically means everything you need to do before you actually start writing your essay. So, what is the writing process and why do I need one? Well, the writing process is a step-by-step -step plan that you can follow every time you write an IELTS essay. This makes the task more manageable as you get to break it down into easy bite-sized chunks. It also means that you get the most from your time as you're organized and you know what to do. It also ensures that you do not miss out any important parts of the task. And also because you're following the same process time and time again, it reduces your exam stress and prevents freezing because you know exactly what you're going to do. This provides confidence and the process can be practiced over and over again until you're confident with it and this will eliminate your nerves or significantly reduce them when it comes time to actually take your test. Writing process is quite simple and here are the five steps that you need to follow. Step one is the preparing to write phase. Step two involves writing the introduction. Step three is writing the body paragraphs of your essay. Step four is writing the conclusion. And step five is checking your essay. This video will focus mainly on step one, which is preparing to write. Let's take a look at the timings and word count of the writing process. As you know, you have 40 minutes to write 250 words, and it is important that you do write 250 words. If you write less than this, then you will lose marks for your task achievement band score as you're not fulfilling the requirements of the task. So it's important that you write at least 250 words. So yes, do count them. So here's how I think we should spend the 40 minutes we have to write our essay. Step one, where you're preparing to write, this should take five minutes and you'll be making some short bullet point notes. Step two, you'll be writing the introduction. This should take no more than five minutes and will be about 40 words in length. Step three, you'll be writing the body paragraphs. There'll be two of them and this should take 20 minutes and they'll be about 90 words each. This is the most important part of the essay. Step four is writing the conclusion, which should take about five minutes maximum and should be around 30 words in length. And finally, step five, which is the checking part. You need to allow at least five minutes to check your answer for spelling, punctuation and grammar. Now, it's important you do this because you can gain up to half a band score just by checking your work. It's also important that you know that the examiners are looking for quality over quantity. Just because you write 300 words doesn't mean you're going to score more marks. Okay, it's the quality of the writing that's Im more important than the quantity. Let's take a look at step one, preparing to write and see exactly what you need to do. When you get to your task two question, the first thing you should do is obviously read the question and underline the key theme words and instruction words. This will help to ensure that you answer the exact question that you're being asked and that you don't miss anything out when you're writing your answer. 
This will help us with task achievement. The second thing you need to do is to identify the question type and remember we've looked at this in previous videos and this will help us to identify what structure we need to use in our essay. This will help us with our coherence and cohesion score. Thirdly, you'll need to note down any synonyms or paraphrases you can think of for the key words used in the question. This will help us with our lexical resource score as we can then use those synonyms in our essay when we come to write it. And finally, fourthly, you need to note down what your main points and ideas are that you can use in your body paragraph. This will mean you've got ideas ready to present and explain and extend which will help you with your coherence and cohesion score as well. Now that sounds like a lot to do but it's actually not. So let's just go through a quick example together so you can see that in action. So the first thing to do is uh, read the question. Here's the example question we're going to use. So writing task two, you should spend about 40 minutes on this topic. Some people think that the best way to run a business is within the family. Discuss the advantages and disadvantages. Give reasons for your answer and include any relevant examples from your own knowledge or experience. Write at least 250 words. So the first thing I need to do is underline the key theme or topic words and the key instruction words. And they are best way, run a business, family, and the instruction words are discuss the advantages and disadvantages, give reasons, examples, and 250 words. Doing this will keep us focused on exactly what we need to do. The next thing we need to do is decide what type of question this is. And the phrase discuss the advantages and disadvantages gives it away for us here. So we know this is simply a discussion question. So we're going to write a discussion essay. So we already know what structure we're going to use. The next thing we need to do is have a look at synonyms and paraphrases that we could use for some of the theme words or topic words that are used here. So the words best way, how could we say that differently? Well we might use the optimum way or the most efficient way or the most profitable way. For run a business we might say manage a business, operate a company. I'm sure you can think of some of your own there. For family even we might say relatives, relations, um, so there's some more options there as well. The next thing we need to do is make our notes for the essay and let's have a look at what they might look like now. The first thing I'll jot down is simply introduction. We don't need to add any notes to this as all the introductions are very similar and after a bit of practice writing these it's very clear what you need to do. There's no further preparation required. So we'll move straight on to B1 which is body paragraph 1. For this type of essay it's going to be the advantages you could start with the disadvantages, it really doesn't matter for this type of essay. And as you can see I've jotted down um, two lines. I firstly jotted down rely, family, share profit. And basically my idea here is that families can rely on each other, they won't let each other down. And they only have to share the profit amongst themselves, they don't have to pay 
any employees outside of the family. So that idea could certainly form part of a paragraph or even a whole paragraph. <clears throat> I recommend you have two different ideas at least so that you can extend your paragraphs. So the second advantage here is that family members are likely to be more motivated than employees from outside of the family and they're less likely to cut corners um, in their work so it should be a higher quality. So I've got two clear ideas jotted down there that I can remind myself of after I've written the introduction and um, I don't need to use any thinking time when I come to the first body paragraph. I can just get straight into it and use these ideas. For the disadvantages, again I've got two sets of ideas. The first one being that fa if family members have disagreements about how to run the business, this can actually cause personal problems between them at home. And who is actually going to decide if two brothers own the business and they think they should do different things. Who is who is going to decide? It could cause personal problems. So there's a paragraph idea there. And also family members might feel pressure to continue the family business or take it over when their parents pass on. And they might not actually want to. They might have other ambitions or ideas. So I've simply jotted down a few key phrases. So I've got two separate key trains of thought that I can come back to when I get to the second paragraph. And finally then there's the conclusion. The conclusion again similar to the introduction we know what we're going to write already. You'll have practiced this many times the structure so we're just simply writing it down here in the notes section so that you don't forget to write it for some reason. You must always write the, a conclusion. If you don't, then your structure is not complete and it's not a logical essay and you will lose marks for coherence and cohesion. So we're simply jotting it down here so that you don't forget to include it. So doing this can take a, a couple of minutes. It takes a couple of minutes depending on what ideas uh, and how quickly you can come up with them. One way to ensure that you're not short on ideas is to read around the typical IELTS topics. Um, reading the newspapers and online websites such as the BBC news websites um, can really help you get and um, build your own opinions on a variety of topics so that you can come up with the ideas more easily actually on the day. Once you've written those notes, you've finished step one of the writing process and you're ready to write the essay. You're then going to write the introduction, write the body paragraphs, write the conclusion, and of course not forget to leave time for checking at the end. Further videos in the course will show you how to write the introduction in five minutes, no problem. They'll also show you how to develop your body paragraphs and how to write nice, quick conclusions as well. We'll also be showing you what to look for when you're rereading and checking your answer. But first, here's a few words of advice on practicing for your IELTS writing task too. Make sure that you practice the five-step process that I've shown you over and over again so that it becomes ingrained, it becomes a habit, it becomes the way that you always tackle these essays. This will give you confidence going into the exam and reduce your anxiety on the day. You also should practice without time constraints, especially when you first start using this five-step process. Do so without looking at the clock. Just let yourself get used to it, to get used to the different steps and enjoy it as much as you can anyway. Once you're familiar with the process then introduce some timed essays so you do 
start to hit the five minutes for the introduction, hit the 20 minutes for the body paragraph, hit the five minutes for the conclusion, and the five minutes for checking. So you are used to then working at the correct pace. And also, of course, make sure that you're practicing with different question types as well. Because, as you know, they have slightly different structures, and it's important that you can write to those structures as well. And of course, as I've mentioned already, please check, check and check again as you can increase your band score by up to half a band just from doing this. And I'll be showing you how to do this later on in the course. But that's enough for this lesson. I'll see you in the next one.